So I just wanted to share with you guys, I figured out how to fix the DirectX 12 crashing issue. A lot of people have been having, I figured, figured out how to fix it for myself. And if you get that, it'll be on PC and you'll get a little box down here in the bottom right of your desktop. It'll say DirectX 12 error, blah, 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 blah. So that's the crashing issue I'm referring to. <clears throat> and my computer, it's AMD. I've got an AMD Ryzen 2700X for the CPU, Vega 56 GPU. Uh, it's kind of old, not too powerful. I don't think my GPU doesn't even have DirectX 12 support. So a lot of people have been doing this fix where you go into documents and then you go Battlefield 2042, you go into the settings and you edit this folder, it has the DirectX 12. You can change it to a one to turn it on or a zero to turn it off. Some people that was solving the crashing issue. Um, but what I've found is I just went into the settings and then this is pro save underscore profile. You're gonna go to edit with notepad. There's gonna be a line right around here. Do this just before you play the game each time. It might be this that did it. But uh, just the, pretend this is the DirectX 12 line. You're just going to delete it and then press backspace again and completely get rid of the whole line and then save it. But the thing that I think really worked is just deleting all the cache files. So you just go to cache and then I already deleted it. You can press control A, select all of them, and then just delete all of them. Do this before you play the game every time. It also got rid of the really bad stuttering and stutters that I was having. And then one thing that at least I cannot do is you can delete these mid-game too. Say, I, it seems like with me, if I just delete them before I launch the game, it won't stutter at all. But if you start getting stutters again, you can you can minimize the game and bring this folder up again, delete them all again. Just if I leave this folder open though on my desktop while the game is playing, I'll get this weird glitch where the game will pop into windowed mode out of the full screen mode and then the game will start getting all like two frames per second and I have to completely close the game down. And I figured out if I just exit out of the cache folder uh, once I'm in the game, it won't do that. So that solved it for me. Hopefully that'll solve it for you too.